I have always been a planner, and so it's really hard to be flexible and spontaneous. And I also deal with impatience and, you know, of course, pride. And yet I felt like as I was dealing with my husband's sickness and then his death, that my plan is secondary to Heavenly Father's plan. So where I thought that being organized was this strength, it actually was a weakness, but then it became a different type of strength by relying on the Lord um, and submitting to his will. And during my husband's sickness, so I was forced to slow down and to be contemplative and to um, really read the scriptures and have a, a broken heart. And then the last one that I kind of thought of was um, the pride factor, right? Um, nobody wants to be compelled to be humble, but sometimes when we need to learn something, Heavenly Father is going to teach it to us in our way, in, in the best way for us. And I felt like maybe in the future I can stretch myself to learn things when I start to feel comfortable or content in an area, I think, okay, I want, I want to stretch myself. I want to grow and I want to learn so that Heavenly Father maybe won't compel me <laughs> to learn something new. It's not always easy to, to share some of the weaknesses that we have, uh, but I appreciate you telling us about how you've been able to overcome those things through Christ, who does strengthen us. But it requires humility on your part, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. As opposed to becoming resentful or angry or digging in, right? You, you have to give yourself over to God a little bit. Mm -hmm.